Welcome back, friends. It's Savage Sasquatch from GamingReportCard.com. We're playing Call of Duty World War II on the Xbox One X. Stop pointing that thing at me. Gosh. All right, so we just cleared the towers. Uh, we've crossed the bridge. They tried to blow it, but I guess they didn't get enough booms on it. And here we go. On me. Move now. Grenades and smokes. We need them. Focus and press the fire now! Lava the smoke grenade! Get to those trenches! Move! All right, he's in the cover of smoke. We are almost dead, so hopefully we can heal up before we get all the way there. Yep, nope, that ain't gonna happen. Clear in the trenches. Make sure nobody popped in behind us here. Almost out of ammo for this MG, but it has served us pretty well here. Let's go with the Stig. STG is my favorite assault rifle after playing the multiplayer for some time. Maybe I'll change on that eventually, but I doubt it. Oh, we get to use the AA turret. Protect that bridge! Shooting ahead of things is always a good idea. Got him! Yeah! Good one! Oh my gosh, there's so many jets here. Correct hit! You've got this, Daniel! We hit a checkpoint. I think they might start gunning for us. Correct hit! On the left! They've sighted you, Daniels! Oh boy. Shot one! Keep firing! Should have shot more of those. One o'clock! Oh boy. Good one! On the left! I'm glad that there's somebody calling things out. I wish I had heard it earlier. Yeah. Alright, so we get, this, Daniels. we get to take another shot at this. Swing left! Left? Left them? We gotta start hitting these guys so they don't make the turn and kill us. Got him! That's gonna help. Direct hit! Keep on him! Order! Our fly boys are here! Them's our boys! They're gonna hit us with everything. Three guys per clip. That's how we do it. Now let's heal up a little bit. Why would it allow me to pick up a gun with no ammo? Seems silly. So we got a rally. You don't look friendly. Damn it! Enemy we are being shelled in here. Not being shelled in. We are being shelled in here. Alright, I think we made it up here. No, st Guys, stop standing in front of the guns. Uh-oh. Oh, 
Oh, good. I thought that was going to be like our death scene right there. Thankfully, not today. Enemy spotted! They're coming out! They might be coming out, but I'm going to look for med kits. Med kits are my friend. Can we not keep any good med kits around here? Oh, well. The bridge is ours. Corporal Howard. I believe I owe you an apology. You owe me a hell of a lot more than that. Come on through. Just made history, fellas. Worst across the road. What you looking at, Fritz? There are reports of POW camps in the area. Davis has ordered us to wait for authorization before conducting a sweep. But I guess you know what to do with Davis's orders. Copy that, Sergeant. All right. Proud our platoon held the first bridgehead on the Rhine. Now our convoy's rolling into the heart of Germany. They say war's as good as won. Not to me. Not while Zuss is out there. April 4th. Leaving the bridge on our mission east. It's a week we later. Searched camps along the way. I thought I knew what cruelty was. I didn't know anything. But one thing's for certain. What I saw will stay with me forever. Survivors said that the other POWs, including Zussman, had been taken to a smaller camp three hours east. All I could do was hope he somehow made it. Last one. It's looks more like a labor camp. Come on. I get the feeling it's deserted. Hmm. This is one of the labor camps that we believe Zussman's at. When I go over to a window, it seems to straighten the gun every time. That's kind of interesting and odd. than animals. From the looks of it, they were beaten, starved, and worked to the bone. This is very sobering. Over here. The Nazis had murdered our boys in cold blood, and no fire in hell could burn away the stain. I'm guessing they made an example out of them. It's horrific. They'd slaughtered the weakest. Anyone that was slowing them down. Daniels, over here. Uh oh. 
Daniels, you gotta see this. Tracks lead to the fields. That's where they must have marched them. And that's where we're going. I wouldn't get your hopes up, Corporal. I made a promise to Sussman. We'll find him. I just can't guarantee we'll find him alive. Sergeant, I'll take point. Sussman! Red! Red, take the shot! Everything's coming full circle. All I've done, all I wish I'd done. It's like my whole life is leading to this moment. We need to head home, baby brother. Paul! You died right there in the snow. All because I couldn't. Oh, gosh. But, damn it. I'm coming, Zussman. You're not gonna die, brother. Not now. Not today. The whole game's led us to believe his brother was back home alive. And he died because we couldn't take the shot as a kid. to find our best friend. looked out for me, Paul, and I reckon you did today. Because there's only one thing that keeps you going on that long march, and that's having your brothers beside you. When history called, you answered. From all walks of life, you came to defend peace and freedom. I thank you, and the world thanks you. Wherever your path takes you, know this. You will always be amongst a brotherhood of heroes. Well, this is it, fellas. Zussman wanted you to have it. Yeah, you'll need it more than me. You got a kiddo now. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Yeah, you'll be fine. Gentlemen. Queens! Your prodigal son returns! <laughs> Are you gonna be okay? Gotta say about his assessment. Going home, Sergeant? I am home. What about you? You gonna re up? I've been away from Texas for a long time. You take care of farm boy. I will. When my son asks what I did, I'll tell him I fought with the first. And that crazy bastard Pearson. <laughs> Crazy ain't the half of it. <laughs> if you're ever in Chicago, I'll get there. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll surprise you in Longview first. You're welcome anytime. You know, when they captured us, it wasn't just our freedom that they took. Even though we were together and we were alone, looking for any way to survive for well, you you could have gone home a hero why'd you come back i saw that life just couldn't live it
Whew. Sorry, I've been quiet here a while, guys, but I felt like it was appropriate. Man, oh man. Oh, good. We do get to go home. The dream was different last night. This time we made it home. Together. I can still hear the wolves, Paul. Sometimes I still see them coming. But you showed me how to fight them. So this belongs to you. Because the sacrifice you made taught me that a hero will risk it all to save his brother. And you'll always be both to me. this story got a happy ending I was really concerned that they were gonna kill Daniels off for <laughs> sticking with that he would save Zussman but die in the process when things slowed down there at that last bridge um, right before they surrendered and we had the guys charging towards us I thought we were done for this was a wonderful campaign this was the most fun the most heartfelt the best story I've seen in a Call of Duty campaign for years. Uh, thank you for making this story, Sledgehammer. Uh, this is probably my favorite Call of Duty. Period. That's right. In my opinion, this might be the best Call of Duty, at least since Modern Warfare. And I think it might even go beyond that, personally. I am absolutely loving this. Right now, my uh, early review score of this, uh, my review in progress score, I guess, is a 9. The story was absolutely awesome. It was wonderful. I felt like it helped capture some of the... Oh, what's the word? Um, it helped capture some of the feeling and emotion of war. And while you can never really fully capture that... Uh, with a game or a movie or a show or whatever. Um, you know, I mean, I felt like it helped give me a deeper respect and get a better picture of what war was like. And I loved the characters that they took us through the story with and the story about brotherhood. And uh, honestly, just a, it was just a great story. And I felt like there hasn't been this strong of a story in Call of Duty in years, if ever. So, um, absolutely, the campaign, I loved it through and through. Um, you know, I've, I don't think I ever or rarely ever got frustrated. Maybe one or two points where um, it didn't tell me exactly where to go. But for the most part, I thought it was just, um, it was just wonderful. Uh... You know, the gameplay was has been great. I've enjoyed shooting the guns. You know, um, you know, I, I felt like this has just been a just wonderful experience overall. It looks better than ever. Like, I, just down to little details. If you, like, watch some of these video clips and you even see the little flash in their eyes, like the, the glint in their eyes, just a lot of little details that they did a great job with. But overall, I think this looks much better than any other Call of Duty ever has, and of course it should, it's the newest, and it's on the Xbox One X being enhanced here, so, um, let's see here, also, my thoughts are, I mean, the sound, the sound effects were good, the voice acting was good, I mean, the regular acting, because obviously there was motion capture done with a lot of these characters, and everything through and through was done, I certainly enjoyed, um, I think it was, so Josh Brolin who played Pearson? I don't remember exactly, but anyway, um, wow, yeah, I'm just, I'm still floored by how good this campaign was. Uh, and going over to the multiplayer, I'm absolutely loving the multiplayer. The multiplayer is my favorite in a Call of Duty period as well. And that is a high praise for me because I don't praise Call of Duty quickly. I've been very fatigued and frustrated with the series for years. And this time, the series is finally kind of ringing true with me. And uh, I have kind of gotten hooked on what everybody else has for once. And uh, I really think that this, it's a great multiplayer experience. Uh, there's a couple reasons for that. I like the fact that we have boots back on the ground. We're not double jumping, triple jumping, wall jumping, wall running, power sliding, uh, all that crazy crap. Uh, it's just boots on the ground. 
the way Call of Duty started, getting back to its roots. Absolutely loving it. I really like a lot of little things that they do to keep you invested. The fact that you level up guns and you prestige your guns, and then you get basically your extra perks. And really, you end up getting up to about five perks. You get those by um, you get those by leveling up your division, and then you can prestige your division. And um, you know, all this stuff keeps you hooked and keeps you going. And then you have your your uh, basically your little daily quests. Every day there's six missions that you can take on, and every week that there's there's six of these, uh, or three of these missions that you can take on for the week. And, you know, it just keeps giving you more and more to do, more to focus on, different ways to play. And honestly, like, I just, everything feels so well-tuned. Uh, I am a big fan. So my early score, as I was saying, is a, I'm giving it a nine, even 90%. This is an A- minus of a game. Honestly, for those who are just joining the game now, a lot of my, uh, criticisms are actually going away right now and the game is actually even getting better than that because early on the uh, headquarters wasn't working properly you couldn't have other people in your headquarters experience so you couldn't commend people so you're stuck with the quest unless you invited somebody in and um so yeah i mean the, the that's gotten better um Early on, there was a lot of connectivity problems that I was having. Kept getting booted, and I'm still getting booted some. But overall, it, the experience is getting better. Had a little bit of issues with uh, server stability. Uh, but overall, like I said, things are improving, and they're definitely working on all the bugs and glitches that people are finding and making it a better game. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut it cut it short or maybe cut it long here and we're at 22 minutes it looks like and uh you know i want to end this just a i want to give a big thank you to all those who have served in our military we have no idea you know we play these games and get like maybe just a small glance of an idea of what you guys go through and thank you for everything that you do for this country um and the way that you protect us and serve us uh, we can't say thank you enough, and honestly, this is kind of a, a paltry thank you, but uh, I do want to say thank you because I've gotten a whole new respect for just some of what you guys go through playing this game. So thank you guys again. Glad to have you guys along on the journey. Um, if you guys have enjoyed the, the game, enjoyed the series, make sure to shoot us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments. We don't get tons, so we'll get right back to you. And above all, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. We'll keep plenty more action coming your way. We're going to have some uh, videos from zombies coming up soon. Uh, that's the one part I haven't do dove into yet, or dived. Dove in. Divid. I don't know. Um, but we haven't gotten into zombies yet, so that's what's coming next. We'll also be bringing you some tips and tricks. I started out really poorly. If you watch my early multiplayer videos... It was pretty bad. I was, uh, for a good while, I was sitting at about a 0.6 kill death. I've worked it up to a 0.82 by basically having about a 1.4 to 1.6 average since then. But it's still taking some time to, um, it's still taking some time for us to <laughs> work our way back up. But you'll see uh, through our tips and tricks that we have learned how to improve. And I want to bring some tips to you guys to make this a much easier process. To be able to go from being the bottom guy most games to uh, being right near the top most of the time, uh, you know, we want we want you guys to be able to experience that as well. That's a cool little shout out, a little thank you from Sledgehammer there. Um, and on top of... Um, more Call of Duty. We're going to have Battlefront coming your way. We've started that just barely. And um, we've got PUBG coming out next month. And maybe we'll dive into the Destiny expansion as well. So, anyway, until next time, this is Savage Sasquatch from GamingReportCard.com. And I am out of here.